Huh? Oh, that's nasty. What's up, Rex Tillerson? Look like Rex Tillerson. Okay. Yeah, we, I mean, what, where you at, Scripture? Where you at, that song? It's all these people that, that flatter you. They speak all these good words. You got that Romans 15? It's the people always speaking nothing but good, sweet, soft words. Those are the ones you got to watch out for. Those are the devils. And those are the people that are praised by this wicked ass world too. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Who has said, with our tongue will we prevail. Our lips are on our own. Who is Lord over us? That's that devil saying. He's Lord over us. He's saying that he's his Lord over us. Yep. He's saying he's running this shit. And who can stop him, right? Well, look at Esau. Esau said there's no God at all. Right. He said God don't exist. 14 says the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Yep, yep. He said the fool, the fool. Oh, you got to be a fool to say that the most high don't exist. Right. So that's another word I ain't never looked up. Either. A fool? I mean, you already know. We have, you can think of the many reasons, I mean, many definitions. Of a fool is, I think we did fool. look it up before, the gesture. Was, or something like that. Right. Jasmine. But you know what? When you look at that word uh, heretic, yeah. it's a fool. That word heretic is a fool. It's an evil man. It's a man that has uh, no natural affection. You know what I mean? A man that loves causing division. I got a, a heretic. A I, got, I got a dictionary. What does it say in Matthew 13? That the man that comes and don't understand this word is the wicked one. So... Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Poly is related to the word fool, too. You can just tell by looking at it. I'm gonna look up fool. I know words, I'm obsessed with words, bro. I'm trying to be more careful, but I have a little words, they have like big meanings, like words, that's just like a little word, it's like a head has a massive meaning. That's why you gotta praise the Lord, because I never heard of the word uh, etymology before I watched a uh, GMS video. I had, I was never, you know, never, what the hell is that etymology? It's a beauty, man. And they're the only one. Words, man, you forget them, man. And, and you look at all these other different uh, Israelite groups out there, the only ones that be going deep into any kind of knowledge is GMS. They can look up words, and the other groups, they go weak. But, all right, well, you know what I mean. Right. All these other groups be like, they, they it's like a crime if you look up a word. If you look up a word in Hebrew or Greek, or if you're studious, they look at you like you're going off because you're looking stuff up. Why do you think them groups scared of us? Because they know we do it. And then Christians don't be going into words either. Vocab, vocab will do it when it suits him. He don't know shit. Yeah, but he does it though, but it's only big enough people. He don't know. Oh, look! I was watching a vocab video, bro. I was watching a vocab video. I wish I could find the footage. And then went on GMS's website, right? It's the video where he said GMS is the worst of the worst. And there was a part of the video where I had Yahushua's name written in ancient Hebrew. And then they was like, "What does that say?" Nobody knew what it said. Vocab didn't know what it said. I mean, that's like the the first Hebrew word you learn. Then nobody could read it. And it was the Lord's name. They said, I don't know what that means. I don't know. And you, they was right. You don't know. I mean, so vocab ain't on no kind of level. He couldn't even read the Lord's name in Hebrew. He condemned himself. Now, let me get this food real quick. This about right. Give me that food. I thought I had it. I 